hello everyone in this video i like to walk you guys through on how are we able to create this particular multi image uploader which is an input where we can upload multiple image for the same input box so i'm just going to give you a simple demo i just need to click on this and i'll be able to add some images for example i have like four images right here so there's just just like four sample images once i've selected all those four images and i clicked okay Let's see what happens when we upload all these images that we have just selected. And there you go. You happen to have four images right here. And this is the way how are we able to input multiple images for the same input box. So not just that, we are also able to delete or discard a particular image that we uploaded accidentally. And we can just click on delete. And this will eventually remove the one that we have just accidentally uploaded. And also, of course, we can also add another image on top of this list right here where I just selected a new image right here. And there you go. Right now, we're able to find the newly selected image added to the same list right here. So all you have to do, you just need to submit this particular list from your bubble. So this is exactly what I like to walk you guys through. And let's get started. Do you have a great idea for a startup? And you're unsure on how to turn your idea into a working product? I have a great news for you. I'm offering a free one-to-one -one consultation to dive into your startup and discuss how you can kickstart your startup with no code tools such as Bubble, Webflow, or even Glide. I'll also be offering development guidance for your MVP. All you have to do, drop me an email and schedule a call. More details are in the description below. So, are you ready to supercharge your startup? Like, subscribe, and most importantly, book your consultation. Now, back to the video. Now, I happen to have a blank bubble project right here. And yeah, so first of all, I like to install a plugin. And this particular plugin is called Multiple Image Uploader. If you have not able to install it yet, all you have to do is just go to this particular add plugins input and just say multiple image. And there you go. This is the exact plugin that we would like to use. Just click on install if you have not installed yet. And so once you have installed, you are able to go to your design section. And the first thing I like to add, of course, that particular input which we have just created. So in this case, I'll go to this particular element selector and you're able to find this particular image uploader button right here. This is the one that we'll be using. And of course, just drag it and just drop it right here. And yeah, I just like to make this particular to be fill the entire space like this. Not the entire space, but this one will be placing it be to the center. And make sure you have placed it into the center right here and as you can see right here yeah this will make this particular layout or page to become column all your components align in one column right here so next thing also i like to make it align to the center and there you go and next thing is uh, i like to make this particular upload images input to set in a group i have to have this to be grouped into a row container so by doing this we're able to make this particular input to Align to the center. So I just want to make this, yeah, just like to make this to the center like this. Yeah, just like to make this particular group that we have just selected, the outside group A. So just like to align whatever inside here to align to the center. So you're able to find it to be aligned to the center like this. Let's give some padding for this particular screen. So this case, I like to have index two right here, which is my screen, which is my page right here. I like to have some. I like to add some padding at the top of this particular group right here. So this here, let me go to here and this will say 75. And yeah, this should do. And next thing is that I like to have all the images that I've uploaded inside. And let's check how does this particular upload image input looks like in our preview. And in our preview right here, you're able to find this particular image. This should be selecting right here. And you're able to select all the images. Let's see what happens when I click open. And there you go, you don't actually find any of the images uploaded to be shown right here because all the images are actually being stored in this particular inputs elements state called saved images. So we must make use of this particular state that we uploaded inside this particular component to be able to list out in one single list right here. So we need to make use of a repeating group element. So this scale I devote to this particular element selector and look for repeating group. So I have to place it right here and make sure it is aligned to the center of the page. And there you go. And what I like to do here is I like to grab a group 
also. So this scale I grab this group and place within the first group. But as you can see right here, this particular group is actually very huge. So in this case, I like to just like reduce this particular height to around like 75 should do. And also I like to reduce the width as well. So in this case, the width I like to have around like 100. And I can just place it in within the group like this. And of course, let's make sure to enlarge this particular group like this. And once we have already made this particular group right here, then I like to have the images that we have just uploaded into this particular input box to be shown on top of this list right here. And of course, not to forget, we must make sure the content of this particular repeating group should be images. And the data source is going to be coming from the image uploader button A. So I like to have those things to be called here as well. So in this case, I like to have image uploader. Image uploader button A saved images so saved images is where we'll be saving all the images of the one that we are uploaded inside here that's what we have done for the repeating group right here and for the group that we have which is the group b that we have placed within the repeating group is where we'll be having the same thing as well which is in this case going to be image and this time next thing is data source is going to be current cells image this is what we will be needing and once we have already placed this to repeating group and a group next thing is we can actually directly add image as well so we need to have image right here and we can just place within the first group right here and of course not to forget we must make sure to make the image to fill within this group right here the first group i have selected so just reduce the width for example i have this to 100 and yeah the image height is also 100 i mean 100 is too big let me just just reduce it a bit like around like 70 should do and there you go and let's start to place it right here and of course let me just really increase the width of this particular repeating group as well and let's say in this case instead of 280 i'd like to have like 500 like this and of course let's make sure to fill this entire group to be filling up entire space like this and of course let's just make sure the image should be placed within the first group like this and there you go now we have already placed the image in the first group right here we must also make sure to have this value to be dynamic so in this case, we need to have insert dynamic data. We also have to have group images, parent groups image, and we'll be selecting URL. So URL is basically the value of the image where we are able to access it. And let's give it a check with this latest change that we have made. And let's say if we were to upload like an image right here, let me just select the first image right here. And let's see what happens. And there you go, you're able to have your first image right here. And let's see if I were to have like more than one right here. And there you go. Right now you're able to find this particular image. So it's actually able to add like this. You have only one habit have multiple images. And there's also other attributes that we are able to make use of. In this case, I have to have the title of this particular image. So in this case, I have to have the title. Can, yeah, it can be inserted dynamically. Aaron Group's images. And it's going to say file name. And that should have the the name of this particular image and next thing is that let me the next thing is that i can also have like a button the button that says delete button where we are able to delete this particular image that we that we wouldn't want it, it to be in the list so in this case i add a button right here and this button is called delete this delete button is where we'll be having a red color background color so in this case instead of blue color it's going to make it red like this and let me just go to the preview here and just select some images. Let's say I select about like five images right here. I've just selected five images, but there's only four images is showing. So that's the reason why, because we have only made this particular repeating group to be having fixed number of rows. So in this case, I'm going to off, turn this off. And let's give it a check in our preview right here. Let's say, say I'll have to add like five images this time. So let's click open. And of course, the next thing is to like to, let's say if I had to click on delete right here, I wouldn't I wouldn't like this particular image to be present in this particular list. So how will I be able to do that? Is that we need to make a uh, we can't be just directly editing the the files component right here. So what we'll be doing instead, we'll be making a copy of whatever that's been uploaded, and with that copy of what we have just uploaded, we we're able to edit or remove an item from that particular list. 
which is the copy itself because we can't be directly editing from the original list of images. So that's exactly what we'll be doing. You can actually make this particular group A, which is the group that wraps this particular upload image. And uh, what we can do, we can just select it and we can create a new state. Let's go to, go to here and we can actually create a new custom state right here. And it is called state manager. Actually, you can just name it anything that you want. And yeah, and in this case, I like to call it state manager because it will be used as a state manager. So it's going to be a list of images. In this case, I have images like here, state type. And of course, it's going to be a multiple entries since it's a list again. Okay. So let's I'm going to click create and go back to our workflow right here and in this case we must make sure to select the upload image uploader button and we're going to be making sure to add or edit workflow click on this and why did i add this particular workflow to this particular uploader button is that whenever there's a change happen to this particular uploader button that particular change should trigger the workflow to copy whatever that we have uploaded into this particular uploader button exactly to be having the same list in our copy of list which we are, we are going to be creating so that particular copy is basically the state manager which we have just did right here so this state manager is going to be the copy of what this particular list is going to be in the next step so i like to go to this particular workflow again and in this particular workflow i like to have the state i like to change i like to set state which is quote which can be done by here and this state is basically coming from group a so group a has the state manager right here and the value that we would like to set is basically the value that's coming from this image uploader buttons saved images and there you go so what does it do here is that whenever when we make a change or we just upload a new image it's going to be making sure to have a copy of whatever it has in this particular uploader button list of images and it will be copied into the state manager right here and the next step is to make use of the state manager to list out all these images right here. So first of all, I like to re-edit this particular repeating group where instead of image uploader buttons A is saved images, I have to go to this particular group A, group A's state manager. So in this case, state manager contains all the images right here. And of course, that's the repeating group image. And of course, instead every single group right here, of course, is going to be called group current cells image as well. And of course, in this case, parent groups image URL is going to be the same. And let's give it a check. And there you go. Right now, what we have done here is that we have just uploaded whatever we have uploaded inside this uploaded image button. And it just uploads into the group state manager that we have just created. And the state manager is basically the, the duplicate version of the original version. And now you're able to delete any one of this based on their order. Let's say if I were to click on this particular button, you're you are now right now you're able to delete this particular image right here. So how am I able to do that? Is that we need to, we need to add a workflow for this particular delete button right here. And this workflow is that it will of course, again, we'll be using the same state manager, set state for action. So in this case, let's go to state state again. And in this case, I'll have, have group A and that custom state called state manager again. And this time, what I like to do is that I like to make sure to have all the images from the state manager. So in this case, I just sort of recall again, whatever that image inside here. And what I like to do, I like to minus the one that we selected. So let's look for minus. So minus item. So which item is that? It's going to be parent group's image right here. And that should eventually delete that particular image from this list of images inside the state manager. So let's give it a check. And let's upload all the images again. And I've already uploaded all the images right here. Let's give it a check by deleting this. And there you go. We are indeed able to delete one of the images one by one. But let's say if I were to add another image right after I deleted the list, let's say, let's say I happen to have one image right here. And let's say I had only one image. In this case, I had to add this particular image, just one. But as you can see here, there's an error has occurred where I just added this particular image right here. But the one that I deleted, which is this tree, is still there. So the reason why is that whatever that we deleted does not reflect on the upload images list right here because it's always a copy we can't actually 
edit or delete the one in the original. But then we can only thing that we can do is that we can actually reset all the images that has been uploaded inside here. And we can also join whatever is there and we can just like store it back whatever that is left in here and just paste it back to the uploaded images right here. So the next step is that once I actually click on delete button, I like to reset the entire list of images uploaded, which is the original version. So in this case, I have to go to the element actions and there is a action for clear images from an image uploader button. So that's what I'll be doing. So basically what does it do? Whenever when I click on delete, the reset button should occur. But then the images in the copied version will be remain. And once you have already cleared all the images that you can find inside the original uploader. So what we can do next, instead of just clearing entire thing, we need to merge whatever that is there in the copied version. And we need to merge it back to the original version. So in this case, let me click on when and click this. And there you go. In this particular value right here, you're only able to find this image uploader saved images. So, but then we need, we need to add another array right here to merge with the new, with the copied version. So in this case, after images, we're going to click on more and we need to make sure to merge. There is a function to merge with. And this time we're going to be making sure to merge with the state managers list of images. So in this case, let's look for a group. Group A right here and group A contains state managers. And there you go. So state manager is the copied version and we are just merging with the original version right here. So that's a simple step right here. Let's click refresh. And let's upload, let's say I'll have to upload around like three images for now. And let's see what happens. And right now you're, you happen to have three images that we have just selected. And let's say if I deleted two of this and you have left with one. So, but then I would like to have another different image right here. Let's say this is a totally new image. And there you go. Right now you happen to have a totally new image to be added into the list of this particular copied version of the images. So there you go guys. And in order to submit this, this form, what you can do is that we need to make sure to submit this particular list right here. And this list is basically the copied version of the original version because the copied version has all the updated images right here. And there you go. Right now we are able to have a working multi file uploader. And there you go. Thank you for watching. Let's meet in the next one.